The bombshell news that the Supreme Court appeared poised to overturn the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade sparked fierce protests across the country. It could also upend this year's midterm races, which will decide who controls Congress. Democrats are hoping to mobilize their voters, especially women. But one analyst told Reuters it was not clear the abortion issue will be a game changer this November. In the northern suburbs of Phoenix, Arizona, a hotly contested electoral area, the issue was not necessarily top of mind for many women, like Maria Alvarez, who Reuters spoke to recently. Most said inflation, not abortion, was the galvanizing issue for them. I just want to be able to make it, like, as... Um, a middle, I mean, a lower class um, citizen just to make it and make sure I can provide for my family and have a home and um, education for my kids. Arizona is one of a handful of toss-up Senate races this November that will decide control of the upper chamber now controlled by Democrats. It is also one of more than 20 Republican-run states where there would be an almost immediate ban on many abortions if the Supreme Court decides to overturn Roe. Of the 21 women interviewed by Reuters outside of Phoenix, most said they were pro-choice, but only eight said they were certain to vote Democratic. Christy Johnson, who described herself as an independent voter, is currently undecided. As I think about voting this November, the issues that would affect my voting would be um, the economy, um, women's rights and um, the environment. Polls show most Americans support a woman's right to an abortion, and a majority of Americans believe abortion should be legal in most cases. But many, like Sherika Bailey, do not. So I do support um, the overturn of the Roe v. Wade, and I do have a history that kind of supports that. I've actually myself had abortions in my life. Um, that was during a very dark time in my life. Rebecca Rios, the top Democrat in the Arizona Senate, said this year's vote will decide the future of reproductive care in this country. This fall, it is absolutely critical that we elect pro-choice candidates who believe in and will fight for our fundamental rights and freedoms up and down the ticket. Voter Cassie Monroe agrees. Women have fought a long time to get even basic rights, so I want to keep pushing that forward and get more rights for women. But one Republican challenger running for Senate in Arizona said the abortion issue is not the golden ticket Democrats are hoping for, telling Reuters, quote, progressive activists were hoping they could gin up some abortionist outrage, but that has backfired.